Hey Spirit Junkies, welcome back. Today I want to talk about forgiveness. This is a topic that is a through line through all of my books. It's a core theme in being on a spiritual practice. And it's necessary if we want to live with freedom and grace. I want to give you a very simple tool that has helped me greatly when I've been needing to forgive someone. So if I'm in a heated, heated place, no matter how heated I may be, no matter how angry I may be, no matter how uh, wounded I may feel, when I use this practice, I can always come back to a presence of oneness and forgiveness. The practice is simple. Sit in your meditation and call in the person that you have been resenting, the person that you're angry with, the person that you're upset with. It can even be yourself in some cases. And think about all the things that you love about them. Call on all of the reasons that you feel connected to them, the reasons that you love them, the reasons that they bring you joy, the reasons that they've supported you. In some cases, it may be that you call on the lessons that you've learned from the difficult times that you've had. And, and if it's someone that's, that's, that's very difficult to forgive, maybe it's an attacker or someone who has only harmed you, you may want to call on the feeling of the lessons that have come through for you, the great learning, the great healing. Maybe this experience has deepened your spiritual connection. And call on the good that has come from this connection and this relationship. As you start to cultivate that feeling of that goodness, of that love, of that, of that acceptance, of that appreciation, you start to feel a sense of relief move over you. This is forgiveness. That presence of release means you're letting go. Relief, release, surrender means you're letting go. Now you can't just do this once and expect it to be over. I often recommend doing this for 30 days, being in that forgiveness practice for 30 days and letting that presence of relief start to settle in and settle in and settle in and move through you and heal you and clear you. And this practice can be very difficult for some, but it can be very easy in other situations. So maybe start with something that seems like a little bit of an easier practice, someone that you might just be subtly resenting and bring them into the practice and use this, this beautiful experience of calling on what you love about them and all that you've learned and all the acceptance that you have. I wanna hear your miracles. So share your stories in the comments below and let me know how this goes for you. It's supported me greatly and I hope it supports you too.